right. We're going to head into the newsroom. And uh, Emily is off for the first time today since September, I understand. So Lauren is filling in to see what's going on on the web. Hey, yeah, I'm pitching in for my friend today. I just posted a fun picture of the UB Bulls in our studio this morning. I just wanted to thank these guys for coming out again. And thank you for that very entertaining dance, Dave. Um, if you are interested in getting tickets to their huge doubleheader tomorrow night, just head to our website or our Facebook page. I posted a link to their website, and you can learn more about all the promotions they're having tomorrow night. We want to get a lot of fans in the stands there and show that New York isn't the only town that's crazy about basketball right now. Um, and then coming up, I, um, I'm going to talk to everyone about the Oscars, of course. We have our fashion expert in the house, and I'm asking people on Facebook right now to share which stars they can't wait to see what they're going to show up on the red carpet in. So make sure you go to Facebook and let me know, and we'll share that coming up. Hey, Lauren, are people talking about the fashions? Yeah, of course they are. We gotta love the fashions. We're so excited to see what everyone's wearing. And we have tons of Oscar coverage on our website, of course. So just log on to wingingit.tv and scroll down, and you can check out all the great Oscar photo galleries we have. So you just click on photo galleries. That'll bring you right here to this page. And then I'm going to show you this one, Black History Month Oscar winners, because, of course, it is February, which is Black History Month, and you can look back at all of the black Oscar winners throughout time. And I think this is really cool because there might be a couple more. I know Viola Davis is nominated for um, Best Actress. And then we have Octavia Spencer, also from The Help, nominated for Best Supporting Actress. So, hey, we might see a couple more ladies in this photo gallery by the end of the weekend. And then I also want to show you something else we have up on our website right now. We are searching for America's Next Top Model here at CW23. Of course, you probably all remember, if you're a Top Model fan, Buffalo Girl Angeli. She was on the All-Star season, and she almost won. She almost won, and then at the last minute, she didn't. But this is actually how Angeli got on America's Next Top Model. So we're going to be at the Eastern Hills Mall next Saturday and doing a casting call, and you can meet um, all, everyone from the show, and we're just going to be meeting anyone that wants to get involved in America's Next Top Model, it should be really cool. So come out if you're at all interested. It's from 1 to 4. Excuse me, it's at the Boulevard Mall. I think I said Eastern Hills. It's actually at the Boulevard Mall in Amherst next Saturday. So get your model walk and get your fashionista self ready to go. Um, and if you need any more information about that, it's all at CW23.com. Now, and I also actually put that on our Facebook page, too, in case you need to learn more. All right, I think we are now going to send things right back to Laura in the studio. Hey, Laura.